PC players can now prepare their accounts to move over to Steam for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, as well as it is the weekly reset, and I will be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, if you are a PC player for Destiny 2, you can actually start preparing the move over to Steam right now. And I'll actually show a video on how to actually go do that uh, later on today. But, it is also the weekly reset. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It is a growing community of wonderful Guardianites, and yeah, I definitely hope to see you guys there soon. So, as for the weekly reset, we're going to start with the Traveler. As for Ikora, we need to do 20 of our bounties. We need to get 5,000 XP for the clan. Forge two weapon frames, as well as... I still have this for some ungodly reason. Complete uh, two chest openings. I don't know why I still have that, but I do. Oh, okay. And we also have a thing for... Uh, our wonderful lady right here. We need to unlock seven packages. Pretty interesting. Coming down to the Vanguard. We need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Grounded, as well as Brawler. Then we need to complete a Nightfall and a Nightfall of 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are the Corrupted, Tree of Probabilities and Exodus Crash. Coming down to Gambit. We need to go ahead and get 100% uh, on the progress for the Reckoning. As well as do three Gambit matches. And four Gambit Prime matches. As for Crucible, we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches. This week's Crucible playlist is Showdown. So enjoy, uh, go ahead and doing that. Over here by the Tangled Shore, we have your uh, adventure. I'm sorry, your heroic adventure. That's pretty much it here. And then at the Dreaming City. Petra Vent is in the Devalian Mists, and we need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. So, let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. On the front page, we have the buoy shell for 600 silver. I'm going to take a look at that real quick. Then we have the uh, hip bump, and this is a uh, multiplayer emote. Then we have the buried treasure projection, which goes on top of your ghosts. It actually looks pretty cool. I might actually want it. But I don't have enough silver. Then we have the crab projection. It also goes on top of your ghost. Obviously all projections do. Then we have the oviraptor ship. Looks kind of weird. And then we have the best of year one engram. Coming down here to the bright dust. We have your gleaming moon of the vanguard. Gleaming moon of the crucible. Then we have your flavado core shader. I don't even know I said that right, but it's okay. Then we have the Baron Waste, which is an ornament for the Arbalist. I don't actually have this, so I might actually get it. Ugh, it looks ugly. Then we have the Sweeping Emote. And then last but not least, we have the Open Orchid Shell. Coming down, we have all the wonderful event stuff, which doesn't change. Then we have all of the seasonal offerings that doesn't change. And it is obviously the same on all pages. And then we have your archive stuff, which again, doesn't change. And then for Bright Dust, we have paperwork.
Then we have the Jubilant Shell, which is the one I like to use. Then we have the Summertide Kite ship. Looks like a bug. Then we have the Legacy 2 uh, Sparrow. Then we have the Silly Handshake Emote. The Flick the Wrist Emote. Once again, I feel like they should have, you know, at least had a finger up and, you know, put a basketball there because this would have been a lot cooler. But what do I know? I'm just a content creator. And then we also have the Triumphant Projection. Coming down here, we have your Consumables, Fire Team Medallion, Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard of the Crucible. Then we have uh, Tangerine Gloss. Now, I like this on weapons. I don't like it on armor. You look too bright on for uh, armor. Pomegranate Gloss. The Beach Ball Effects. And last but not least, the uh, Sandcastle Effects as well. And then we have your bounties down here. So, like I said earlier in the video, I will show you in a different video how to go ahead and prepare your account to go from Battle.net to Steam. And that'll be within a few hours. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.